Sometimes, you know, sometimes racism works out in black people's favor. Now, it doesn't happen often. It happens very rarely, but when it happens, it is fucking sweet. <laughs> I'm serious. So one time racism saved my life, man. I was, I was on a plane. <laughs> I, I, was coming, I was coming from overseas, and uh, I don't know how this guy got a machine gun on the plane, but he stood up, man. He said, everybody, get on the fucking ground. Nobody look at my face. <laughs> I started freaking out. Because he was Chinese. I was like, why is he talking like that? <laughs> Was screaming and crying. I was the only brother on the plane. Well, I, I thought I was the only brother. I looked over. There was one other black dude. He was from Nigeria. I, I looked over to him. He was looking right in my face, man. He didn't say two words to me. He just looked at me. He was like, <laughs> 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 He didn't need to talk. I knew just what he was talking about. I looked right back at him. I was like, <laughs> Some white dudes on the front of the plane seen us. They were like, <gasps> Oh my God. I think those black guys are gonna try to save us. <laughs> we were just communicating that we understood the situation. We were both seeing the same thing. What we understood was simple. Terrorists don't take black hostages. <laughs> That's the truth. I have yet to see one of us on the news reading the hostage letters. Um, mm. They is treating us good. Uh, we all chilling and shit. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Ray Ray and Big Steve and uh, say some new points. You're not going to see it. And terrorists are smart. They know what they're doing there, you know. They're terrorists. They know black people's bad bargaining chips. <laughs> they called the White House. Hello? We have got five black... Hello? 